Create in-depth maps to add 3D moves to otherwise flat images has been around for a while, but it was a long and painstaking process. But there's now a super quick way to achieve the exact same thing, but in a matter of seconds. Here we are in Photoshop, and all we need to do is with our layer selected, go up to Filter, Neutral Filters, and then we need to locate and turn on Depth Blur. The first thing we want to do is untick Focus Subject, and then go down to the bottom and tick Output Depth Map Only. Some photos will work better than others, but this is what you're looking for, sections of the face closest to the camera being much darker than those further away. Click OK. And then let's export or save this as an image so we can bring this into After Effects. So once in After Effects, we need our initial image that we started with and our depth map. So I'm just going to bring our image into a new composition. I'm just call this an example. And then we also need to bring in our map. Put that at the bottom and we can turn it off. And then with our image selected, we can search for the effect displacement map and we can bring this onto our image. And then in this first drop down, our map layer, we want to select our map. And then in these two drop downs, we need to select luminance. And these two values here are max horizontal and max vertical displacement. If I was to adjust these, you can see our image has the effect of it being in 3D. Same with the vertical. And you will notice that if we push this too far, you start to distort the edge of our image. So we need to make sure these are very small adjustments and that we don't have that happen. So I'm just going to push that to just about there, about two. And then in the vertical, I think we should be able to push this a bit more. Yeah, push that to around there. I will crop the top and bottom off this at the end. So don't worry about this for now. And let's create two keyframes at the very start, then go to the end and then let's just go the opposite way about there let's put that the other way to around there and let's see how this looks so i'm just going to change our composition size just to crop the top and bottom off we can pre-compose our map if we like and we can make any further adjustments inside like adding any extra detail that may be missed in Photoshop, or we might want to make more prominent. But I'm going to leave it as it is, because ours has turned out not too bad. And go back to our example. Now we can add some stock footage of dust and some subtle light flickers. And we now have what could be seen as a piece of filmed footage, and all from a static photo.